there are little gardens all over New Haven, some little, some big. Um, there are a number of community gardens and then there's also school gardens. Um, most of the school gardens have started from a couple teachers or a couple parents who've been really passionate about gardens. The school gardens are really about getting kids to get their hands in the dirt, to realize that a seed turns into a plant, turns into food that we eat. And something so basic as that, but kids who say, oh, I won't eat green beans, I don't eat spinach, when they pick it themselves, or especially if they've grown it themselves, but when they pick it fresh and they eat it, there are so few kids who won't eat a fresh picked vegetable or fruit. So it has a major impact for kids who say, oh no, I don't eat anything green, I don't eat vegetables. If they pick it fresh, they, they do. Gardens contribute to a healthier city by getting kids to taste fresh food. If the closest food to them is a bodega or a corner store where everything is in a package, everything is processed, everything is corn syrup and flour and you know very little nutrients in it, it is a big impact to give them fresh food to eat, even just to taste it and realize that it tastes really good. So the more school gardens we have, the more community gardens we have, getting kids to grow their food, getting people to grow food in their backyards, on their stoop, <laughs> on their stairs. Um, you know, you grow a little tomato plant, you get hundreds of, of cherry tomatoes for a summer. That really changes what a kid eats every day. So, you know, there's little thing, those little things have a big impact on kids' lives. And, and it, what they learn as kids continues with them for the rest of their lives. So if you can change what kids are eating, what they think tastes good, then it's a big win. The issue of health and food is challenging because it is so complex. There are lots of federal policies that influence everything we do. So there's lots of subsidized food crops and nutrition standards that come from a federal level that really negatively impact the food that is available in cities. Right now, like the Food Policy Council is trying to bring people together who are interested in composting because we spend so much money throwing and, and we waste so much food that goes into the garbage and it sits in a landfill versus turning into compost and just being reused. Um, or groups that are working on um, trying to open new grocery stores in New Haven. We have lots of places where your only food you can get is at your corner store. So how do we get the right groups together? How do we um, you know, make something look attractive for a store to come into New Haven? And then how do we make sure that that store carries food that we want, that we need for our community, that's affordable, that's fresh, and that really draws on the diversity of New Haven to make it successful? And health is bigger than just the food we eat. It's, it's, it's people really caring for themselves, like by exercising, by learning how to deal with their stress, you know, learning how to be quiet sometimes, learning how to let things roll off their back, um, and people supporting each other and building community. That is a huge piece of healthy living, is not feeling isolated, feeling like you have support in your community. So. It's complex, it's not easy. I, I tend to focus on the food piece, so I, I'd like to see people eating healthier food and enjoying it.